Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine a chance corrected effect size for Cochrane's Q using Microsoft Excel. Um, in the spreadsheet I set up a few small things but the main thing is I have here my data and as you can see I had four variables uh, Munt, Movies, Tuschinski and Arena and it's important that there are no missing values in here. So scrolling back up I made sure there weren't already the first thing I need is the number of variables, well that was actually 4 and I need the number of people I had and since I've used numerical data I can simply say count for example column uh, let's take the first one B and it nicely shows me 150 now I used a 0 for no and 1 for yes so in my case 1 was the score that was considered success <coughs> Sorry. Then the second step is to determine for each variable how many successes we actually had, how many fails, and then actually um, multiply those two with each other. So in the beginning, successes can be done simply with using the count if function. And I'm going to count my column B, then a semicomma uh, or a comma depending on your system settings, settings, and whatever you selected to be success. In my case, that's the one. I store that over here in uh, cell N7, so I put some dollar signs in there, so it stays there, and then you can just close this off, and then copy-paste this to the side. There are different ways. I have four variables, so one, two, three, four. If you had more, you need to copy it further to the side. The number of fails can be done also by counting then the fails, but it can also be simply done by taking the number of cases, since there aren't any missing ones. Uh, again, block this using dollar signs. You can press F4 to toggle uh, dollar signs uh, with a cell reference, minus the successes. And then we can again copy this to the side. And last but not least, I need to multiply these two, that's this one, times that one. Then, we need to sum up, oh, I need to do that for each of them. I need to sum up all of these results, and that gives me a rather large uh, value. In the formula that's actually being used here, that is uh, this carry whole bit. This actually says to look at each case one by one and compare it uh, for each variable, uh, compare how it scored with the others. I've done that actually up here, just to make sure and there's a very tricky formula there, it's very long uh, if you're really interested uh, you can pause the video and have a look at why this is actually working uh, but more importantly I've done so for all the way and if you look closely down here it will say 21,044 being the sum and therefore if I go back to uh, what we were doing and scroll up and you see that's exactly the same result so this saves quite uh, doing it this way actually saves you that big formula then we need to look into something that is looking scary like this this negative exponent is actually simply meaning one divided by so i can do equals uh, one divided by and then open the the brackets or parentheses the k that's the one i had up here times and as you might notice uh, it's not that there's a division uh, missing here this is actually the mathematical notation for the combination function so I can do combine and then I need the B that's uh, that one and then I put a 2 and I can close this whole thing and also close the other parentheses and we should be fine there that's a very small number and the delta in the big formula is actually the result of the one up here, so that 21,000 and that small one multiplied with each other, so that's simply this one times that one. That takes care of delta. Then we need to go into mu, uh, which actually is to first determine the proportion of success for each case. So I'm going back up here and then scroll a little bit to the left. And what I need to do is simply count, uh, count if, and the range is my 4, and then it needs to count the successes, so that was up here. Uh, again, block this one with F4 or using dollar signs, and it needs to be divided by the number of variables that we have, that's over there, and then press F4 again, and now I have the 
proportion of success for this one. You can copy paste this all the way down. You can also, if you have the cell selected, the lower right corner, the mouse icon will turn into a little plus, double click and it will simply copy paste everything down. Then the next step uh, is over here. We need to do that result from just now and multiply it by one minus that result. So I'm going to do that in here. So this is going to be this one times one minus that one. And then also copy paste that one all the way down. We're getting close to finishing this all, so hang in there. Now we can finally actually get to calculate this mu. And as you can see there are three things here. The first one is actually the sum of that first column we just did. So that's the sum of, in my case, column F. Then multiplied with as you can see here, b minus that sum, so open up a set of brackets and then b, b is the number of cases, I have that up there I'll go back down, uh, minus the sum of f again, I can also just type it in close that set of brackets and then subtract and uh, this whole thing, that's the one, is the sum of column g in this case so sum column g enter. Then finally we get to mu and mu is actually what we just did but then multiplied by this in front of it so what I can do is simply equals 2 divided by open up a set of parentheses I need the b, the b was all the way up here and then the b uh, gets multiplied by so times and then uh, the b again so that was n6 and then minus 1, so minus 1, close the parentheses, close it again, and then multiply everything with that other factor we just had over there. And then last but not least, we can finally determine that effect size, that's 1 over that delta over mu, and we have all of this, so this is going to be simply 1 minus the delta we calculated up here, and it needs to be divided by and the mu we just calculated and there we have it 0 0.026 so that's pretty low in this case I also actually wrote a, a user defined function for this so as you can see here's the same result use CCES so you don't have this function um, but this actually requires the data uh, as an input and the success and then it actually calculates it in one go for you uh, I will put this file somewhere on uh, in the description if you want you can download it and then use this uh, function and you don't have to do all these steps but make sure your data then doesn't have any missing values so if you copy paste your data remove it first select the data uh, select the data specifically so not entire columns so just really from cell B3 for example to E152 or whichever is your last cell Okay, I hope uh, this video was helpful. The source of this formulas and everything was actually coming from here. I hope I interpreted, interpreted them correctly. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe because that really helps out. Uh, YouTube canceled my partner program so because I don't have enough subscribers. So if you, if you like this video, please subscribe. Alright, if you have any comments, uh, suggestions, please let me know in the comments below.